Number four, revise core statistics and evidence-based practice. Now, 10% of the exam is the so-called stats domain. This covers evidence-based medicine. So that includes basic statistical principles, definitions, calculations, but also graphs, charts, and types of study. Now, this can be quite challenging if you're sort of not confident in this, if you haven't maybe done this since medical school, but if you can put in the effort to master these basic concepts, you can learn to interpret common graphs and charts, know how to calculate the common statistical things, you know, mean, mode, median, numbers needed to treat, sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, negative predictive value, um, different types of risk, odds ratio, p-values, 95% confidence intervals. If you can interpret important graphs and charts, so bar charts, histograms, leaf plots, LeBay plots, forest plots, funnel plots, Kate's plots, scatter plots, and also increasingly there have been a lot more of the new style data interpretation questions where they use real life data taken from public health or practice population data and you know getting familiar with these and being able to interpret them then you know there's only so many questions they can ask within this domain so if you put the effort in i've seen people get 90 95 100 percent in that and that can help you get a better score overall